day everyone welcome to tarish tv please kindly subscribe to this channel also hit the bell icon so you can get notifications thank you the vice president of nigeria professor Yeme Osibajo, a lawyer is known for his blunt and straightforward attitude and statements People have always said that he does not really fit into the mold of governance where he currently finds himself. He has largely distanced himself from most of the scandals that we see in the corridor of power in political offices in Nigeria today. He has largely lived up to the man of God status that he is though we cannot really call him a politician. Professor Yemi Sibajo has stepped on toes in the course of carrying out his duties, especially during the, those times when President Buhari was away for protracted medical attention. The man was able to hold forth effectively, calm free nice, and prove to everybody that he is a good administrator and a loyalist. Perhaps that is the more reason why the president is still retaining him in the office of the vice president. The vice president, this time, he is calling for the national debate on the issue of governance spending and costs in Nigeria. He made the statement in his seminar where he penalized asked what the present government is doing about the issue of governance spending and how they hope to address it. He said there is a need for a national debate over the matters. He went further to state that as it stands, if such a debate should come up in any arms, if our legislature, legislative houses, it will be difficult for the legislature to vote against themselves and against what they are presently benefiting from. His talks are, it is not wrong to say that the cost of running governments in Nigeria is the highest in the world, going by what the government is spending on current on recurrent expenditure as against capital expenditure. There are lots of ghost workers that are siphoning government's funds in many of our national and state establishments. A lot of sharp practices have been perpetrated at all levels to make sure that money goes to some hands. What about ministries and agencies that are not actually needed but has to come up because some people or part of the country has to be satisfied and pacified? Many things are wrong, but the government cannot do anything about it because the people that are involved seem to be untouchable. Going by what Professor Ujemi Osiva just said, all the lawmakers, elected officials, both the national and the state level, government appointees, and all political leaders will be against him. They all know that the way we are running our government in Nigeria is not right. Not even an economical buoyant country like America can survive this way. But they keep quiet. They prefer for it to continue this way because they are reaping greatly from it. The president of Nigeria, Mohamed Buhari, admitted that, indeed, we need a restructuring in this area, but he has never made any meaningful move to address it. Rather, he has actually supported it. Professor Yemi Sibajo does not have many friends in Zansu Rock, nor in the political arena of Nigeria because he does not know how to play ball. He, now, he has made a statement that will make his enemies to increase in number. What the vice president has said is true, 
but who will support him? At least not any of the legislature, governors, and anyone in the corridor of power today in Nigeria. Well, what a strong statement by the, pres the vice president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. But according to the statement, who will support him? What the vice president has said are very, very true. I'm just hearing for the first time that Nigeria spends more as a country than any other country in the world. Wow, are we that rich? Do we have such a money that we're lavishing? He said there are many boost workers. He also pointed out that there are many people, many organizations, many parastatas that are not needed, but they are established. And it is for the purpose of for some people's pocket. Wow, this is a, 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 a touching and a serious matter in this country. Could this be true? And if this is how we are going to continue, who will come out to defend us? Who will come out to say the truth? Because the truth is always bitter. You see, by just enemy will be increased. Yes, it is true. His enemies will be increased. Now, what will he do? Can he do it alone? Who will stand up with him to defend us? Who will stand up to defend this statement? Who will stand up for this debate? And I wish you of winning it. What are the steps he needs to take? Guys, throw out the comment section and let's know what you have to say concerning this issue. It is a critical one. Let's lo listen to it critically. It is a critical and a serious issue that should be looked into. Thank you guys for listening and I will see you on the other news. Bye.